G'day guys, it's Captain Laser here. Well, it's a terrible day here in Melbourne today. It's about six degrees outside. It was raining before, almost snowing. And, um, well, the wife uh, has stolen my computer. <laughs> so, uh, what's a DJ to do when it's raining outside? I've got no computer. I've done a lot of practicing this week, so I don't need any more. What am I going to do? We're going to do a laser repair. That's right. Get your sunglasses ready. We're going to fix a laser. Well, I don't know if you can tell on this shot, but uh, it's a dual laser. The one on the left is a lot brighter than the one on the right. So one of the diodes is on its way out. So basically we're just going to replace one of the diodes in this laser. Okay, that's what we're going to fix. That's what it looks like. Now this is the laser diode that we're going to replace. Uh, now I spoke to the people at Shimp, told them about my problem, and they were good enough to send out a diode with a circuit board. I'm not sure whether I'll need that or not. Uh, for absolutely free. And they were actually even good enough. They actually sent me two just in case I need another one in the future. So uh, to all the people at Chimp, it's great backup service. I know there's a lot of other companies that will do that as well. American DJ is pretty good as well. So uh, if you ask the manufacturers, if you have a problem, if you ask them nicely, they will usually help you out. All right, let's get this thing apart. Now I know a few of you have got uh, this laser. So that's why I decided to do a video of this, just in case you have the same problem. I want to show you how simple it actually is right there it is that is the diode there's the one we're replacing it with and basically hopefully I won't need to replace the circuit board but it's as simple as that you know it's just a plug I'm not much of an electronics expert I don't know what that's called but basically it will just plug in into the circuit board so I won't have to do anything there just a matter of changing that with that let's see how we go so we've got to turn the thing upside down and there is two screws there that are holding the laser, laser diode in place. So I've just got to unscrew those basically and it should pop out the other end. Right, so you can see I've almost got it out. That's the old diode. Um, it was a bit of a struggle getting my hand in there. I think uh, Chinese hands are a lot smaller than mine so it was a bit hard getting it out of there. But eventually got it out. I've just got to cut these cable ties off and uh, unplug it from under there. See the plug down there, pull that out, and that should be it. Cross my fingers. Okay, again, I'm having trouble because my hands are big, but uh, you can sort of see in there, those two pins. I've got to try and plug the pins. They are quite thin and fragile, so I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna bend them it's hard to get my hand in there, so I may have to take that top circuit board off. But I'm going to give it another couple of goes and see if I can get it in uh, without bending those two pins coming out of there. Alright, managed to get it in. If you're doing this, make sure you remember which one you pull it out of. If you can read that, there's four different plugs along there. Green goes into green. I'm guessing the other one is for so they have just a red laser and a multicolored laser. Not really sure. But it goes into the green plug right there. The problem I had was big hands, I couldn't get it in. Um, and I actually, this little piece came off. I'm not sure if it's actually used for anything. It just came off that. It's just like a spacer thing. But that broke off. I don't think it's important. It's just a piece of plastic. Okay, looks like that was a success. That's the original one that's in there. That's the one that we're about to replace. I'm just testing it before I screw everything in, just to make sure that it all works. But that's uh, nice and bright. As bright as the other one now. Excellent, let's put this baby back together. Okay, one more quick look inside a laser. That is the diode. It's like a uh, 
house of mirrors there's it comes off about three different mirrors hits that mirror there's another mirror coming from the front of it there's another mirror there It's that mirror, and then there's another mirror up here. It's like it bounces off three different mirrors. And of course, they all move in funny little directions. <clears throat> That's the one we're about to screw in. Okay, the diode's uh, been put into place. It was a bit fiddly lining up the holes, uh, the screw holes from the underneath eventually got them in so just take your time with that eventually you'll get it uh, another cable tie tie up all the uh, the wires otherwise they'll get in the way of the laser so that's all done put it back together should all work okay there you go it's all been put back together now basically um, you just need to undo four screws on this lid two in the middle and uh, these two, one on each end up the top, and that lid will actually just uh, slide out. You don't have to undo the screws at the other end, it'll save you a bit of time. So basically four screws, the lid's off, two screws for the underside, as you saw before, two screws under there, and your laser diodes out. We replaced it that easy. Probably took me 15-20 minutes to do that, and that's it. I just got to plug it in and just triple check, make sure it all works. Okay, there it is in the dark. You can see both of those eyes are exactly the same brightness now. Beautiful. There you go. How to replace a laser diode in 20 minutes. It's as simple as that. So don't be scared of the old laser. Uh, it won't harm you. There's nothing wrong with me. Practice and enjoy.